Hey everyone, welcome to iOS Hacker. In this guide, I will show you how to connect a USB drive or an SSD to your iPad and browse files and transfer data like a pro. Whether you have an iPad Pro with USB-C or a Lightning iPad, I will cover everything step by step. So let's get started. First, check what type of port your iPad has. If you have an iPad Pro, iPad Air 4th generation or later, iPad mini 6 or later and iPad 10 generation or later you likely have a USB-C iPad. Older iPads use lightning port. This matters because you will need the right adopter. For USB-C iPads, most external drives will plug in directly. If you have a hard drive with a USB-A connector then you will need a USB-A to USB-C adopter. For lightning iPads, you will need Apple's lightning to USB adopter. And if your drive needs more power like some SSDs do, you might need a powered USB hub. You can find link to all of these accessories in the description of this video. Now plug your USB hard drive or SSD into an iPad using the right adapter. If your iPad recognizes it, you will see it appear in the Files app under the Browse tab. Open the Files app, then tap on Browse. Here you will see your external drive listed under Locations. Tap it to open and view your files. You will be able to see your photos, videos, documents and whatever else is stored on your hard drive. To transfer files from your drive to your iPad, tap and hold on the file and then copy and paste. Make sure you paste the file on an on my iPad folder or iCloud drive. To move files from your iPad to the drive, do the same but drag them into your external drives folder. When you're done, tap on the eject icon next to your drive's name before unplugging it. This helps avoid file corruption. And that's it. Now you can easily connect USB drives and SSDs to your iPad and move files in seconds. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more iPad tips. Thanks for watching.